All right, guys, New Age Tactical back with another video. Something a little different. As always. As always. <laughs> You're always going to be different. It's always a surprise. Gerber. Gerber Armbar Drive Multi-Tool. I guess you can compare this to kind of like the Leatherman Skeletal type style. Which we never did a full review of. Which it was only a part of our EDC. And I love it. Yeah, oh, I loved it. Let's see if this this will top it, match it, or... Fail horribly. <laughs> Fail horribly. <laughs> now, we're not going to go crazy and like screwing stuff in and everything, but we're going to just kind of review it. Quick little backstory while I'm trying to get this pain in the ass package open. So I was going to go with the blue theme that my brother started here with me. Everything blue. Blue is $10 more. And this was $29.81. $29.81, so 30 bucks. The blue was 40 The black's 40 Carbon fiber's 40 all, all those colors are 40 Oh. I think, honestly, no one's buying orange. <laughs> so they were like, we got to get rid of them. So they discounted it and kind of made it like a deal type thing. First impressions, it's it's not super heavy. Let's see what this little thing weighs. Three and an eighth ounce. Not bad for what it is. Compared so, to multi-tools? Yeah, compared to multi-tools. I mean, not bad at all. The reason why this one stood out to me was because it has scissors. And now one of the bigger thing is bigger things are I take my son fishing a lot and Scissors just to cut the line are, are, are like phenomenal. This little guy here is actually pretty cool. I was playing with it when the camera was dead. It's a pry bar and bottle opener that kind of tucks itself in. All right, that is pretty cool. I like that a lot. So it's a little stiff because it's new, but then it's got your bit driver or what do they call it? Yeah, bit driver. As your Phillips head and your flat head magnetic. Nice and easy. Second one would be the, what the f is an awl? Can we look this up? Because we this is the second time we've run into this. The small pointed tool used for piercing holes, especially in leather. Oh. All right. That's actually pretty sharp. That's actually really sharp. Oh, uh, okay. Full rotation. <laughs> it's not bad. See, that's always my problem with scissors on multi-tools, is they're never really reputable. Just take a corner off so I can see it on camera. They have the little spring load, but honestly, for cutting fish on mine, kind of like what I said, I don't think I'll have much of a problem with them. Then they fold back up like that. I uh, know. I was trying to fold it the wrong way. Sorry. On the other side, so separate from everything else, is the blade. It does have a lock. Yep, it does have a liner lock. Ooh, sh**. Little sharp little guy. For, I mean, just for what it's worth. User error. It's a little. It's a little short, so I keep pulling out. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before. That's how you got two kids. But for what it is, I mean, that's a pretty decent blade. It's uncomfortable to hold. Not gonna lie. But again, that that, that's not what it's meant for, so it's not like a negative mark on it. This is kind of a let's come back to in a couple months if one of us is using it and say what we think about it. I do like that they put the tools at different lengths. So yeah, your so you thumb can just get right under each one of yeah. those. And I do kind—I kind of enjoy the fact that they put just the knife on the other side. Yeah. So your knife is always is readily well available. Out. Yeah. I wish we had hey, a Grant. random ass piece of leather we could do this on. Yeah. Actually, dude, I—I could... I lost a lot of weight recently. 
Let's test out this all. That's dangerous. It's an old ass belt. This isn't even leather. <laughs> Again, why is this on a multi tool? Yeah, why, what. <laughs> what use is for an all have you found? <laughs> does it open a can? Like, does it do something else? Uh, I mean, look, that actually made. Better than the previous one. The previous one sucked. What'd you make that with? A steak knife? Uh. Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not quite the. Don't move or I'll all your dick. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Hey! Highlights of it, size for sure. Yeah. Because most multi tools do have the pliers, but that's also its con. It doesn't have the pliers. Ooh! That is damn close. Yeah. A bottle opener is one of the easiest things to add to a tool, but to have it as part of the tool plus a pry bar as well just kind of gives it that next level. I mean, I honestly can see myself carrying this for a little bit and seeing what I think of it because uh, the Skeletal, I love the Skeletal, probably one of my favorite, favorite EDC items, but that's kind of like a pocket clip, belt clip type I was going to say, I, I still, as much as I love it, I don't carry it on my person. It's still a bag. Yeah. This, this is, is a pocket. This is throw it, in the, throw it in your pocket and forget about it until you need it. And you do have that little backup blade if you are you don't have your main blade with you. So, and being like, like I've said this before in previous videos, like in the business setting I'm in and stuff, I don't really carry a, a knife because I can't have a pocket clip hanging off my dress pants. You know what I mean? This would kind of be like that happy medium. You throw it in my pocket. It's, it, it, it's not hard to find. It's like, oh, there it is. Bam, you got a knife. You know, bam, I got a little screwdriver. I got the little scissors if I need them. And like I said, also like fishing or fishing applications and stuff like that. You got your scissors. All right, here we go. And pop. Now, just like this is like um, this is a higher monofilament line because this is kind of set up for like channel catfish and stuff like that. So you purchase this as something to go into your fishing bag with the intention of using the scissors. And it actually line. might go into my just everyday carry rotation, honestly. Since we're talking about the price change because of the color, orange is not horrible. I don't, I, I don't dislike that color at this all. This is not bad. I'm it's actually, more, it's when, closer to rust. On Amazon, when I ordered it, I thought it was going to be hideous. And I'm like, you know what, we'll just get through the color so we can film the video. But it's it's got that, it's like an orange rust color, like you said, it's. It's not a. It's really, really not a bad color. Yeah, man, I I, I like it. it. It it won't get a stamp or anything like that just because it wasn't put through any test. This is more like a get to know you type thing. One of us is gonna carry this for a couple. What of was months. the price again, too? It was twenty nine, right? So twenty nine eighty one. So thirty bucks, a little on the expensive side, but you are getting a lot. Leatherman, not knocking this at all. Never. This is probably one of my favorite multi tools, but. Just size comparison, weight comparison. This one here is 3.18 ounces. This one here is five ounces exactly. You do get the pliers. You get a couple more little tools on this one. The thing about this one is it doesn't really throw in your pocket as well as this one would. Half the price, practically half the weight. You went from bag EDC to pocket EDC. I can't knock this though. Never, but no, but that's no, where no. you're kind of going with. No, that. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. If you want a multi-tool, Leatherman is one of the, you know, the best. But I'm just saying, price-wise, if you're gonna go up against Leatherman, the only thing you can do is make a better price. I don't. I don't even think price-wise because I would spend the extra to have this tool if if I have the means to carry this. But the point is that this. Can be thrown in my pocket. This here really can't be. Well, I mean, hey, that's it. I mean, we need to wrap it up anyway. Yeah, you know the drill. We're kind of been blabbing and stuff. Guys, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram because we're gonna post up pictures every day. Ring the little bell. Ring the little bell. Ding, ding, ding. 
Uh, other than that, guys, New Age Tactical. Over and out.